All right, you know the song, Who Runs the World? Girls! All right. Absolutely. Today, we are celebrating women in the music industry. Friday and Saturday is the Woman Composers Festival of Hartford, and you don't want to miss it. Yeah, this is actually uh, the first in-person festival since 2019. It's awesome. Yeah, so we are here with the president of the organization, Rami Levin, and also board member, Vinny LaMonica. Thank you so much, both of you, for being here. Thank uh, you. Yeah, you know, this is, um, music is so important, I think we t learned about with kids and all the educating everyone and getting people involved, but is it unusual to have female composers? Well, there are many female composers. There have been since medieval times, and that's what we're about. We want to showcase the work by women composers, historically and contemporary. Uh, unfortunately, there hasn't been a lot of promotion of the music of women composers, which mm. is why we exist. Why is that? Why do you think that is? Uh, I think it's it's historically been the case that men, as in all all areas, <laughs> um, men have more clout. They mm. have more um, more influence. Uh, so it takes an effort to to bring this music to audiences. This statistic is kind of staggering. In 2022, only 7.7 percent of music performed by orchestras in 31 countries was by women. Correct. And that was an improvement. That's an improvement. Yes. Right. What was the what was the before? Much significantly less. lower. Oh, that is incredible. Yeah. Right. So, so Vinny, uh, I'm going to have you stand up because here, here, you know, you are a man helping women, which we love that. We love that. <laughs> but um, is this something that we need? To, is it uh, that women aren't doing it, or we're not recognizing them? Does it need to start even younger in schools where more women are being asked to play instruments, or? I think it's split. Part of it is the lack of promotion, but part of it is kind of a, a pipeline issue of opportunities. You know, when you look at young competitions for composers, how many of them have women on the panel? How many of them have women winning? Um, and just giving these opportunities. And so one of the big parts of our festival is trying to fix part of that pipeline with an emerging composers workshop. So we're taking young composers and we're saying, hey, Here's a mentor. We have Dr. Jessica Rudman, who's an incredible composer. They work with her throughout the year, and then they get to have their work read and recorded by a professional ensemble. Wow. That's really this year incredible. is Chartreuse, a string trio. So it's not just a weekend. These people are working with them throughout the year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's really great. And it was founded in 2001. Correct. And it's been around. I mean, that's a long time. It's a long time. It became a 501c3, a nonprofit organization, in 2014. That's incredible. So let's talk about the event. It's a multiple day event. You're going to have co you're going to have composers. We're going to have music. Like if you're someone who um, doesn't play but likes music, what will the experience be like? Well, the first day, which is Friday, it starts with a scholarly symposium. So these are going to be talks about events, about issues of women composers. For example, uh, women jazz musicians of the 30s and 40s. Okay. Or, wow, that's uh, incredible. Yeah. Or a woman named uh, Helen May Butler, who was like the John Philip Sousa of her day. She okay. had a military brass band. Isn't that incredible? Yes. And uh, a talk about women, Brazilian women composers who write music for brass. Uh, then following that, there's the Emerging Composers Workshop, which uh, Vinny mentioned. And then on Saturday, we have an all-day marathon. So for anyone who thinks there's not a lot of music by women composers, we have a marathon from 9 o'clock in the morning till 5.30 in the afternoon of music just by women. And is there, I, I assume there's an admission fee to get in? Or? So it's $20 per day. That's it? Yes. Okay, that's, that's remarkable. And it's right at Trinity. Correct. Uh, Correct. Specifically, if people are heading there, is there one place they go? or? Uh, it's Russ Music Center. The Russ, Russ Music, Music Center, Center at Trinity. Russ, yes. Okay. Vinny, can, can I ask a question? As a man, how did you get involved with all of this? Sure. So I kind of had this awakening when I programmed a recital several years ago, and I was like, great, these are all living composers. And my friend was like, okay, but are they women? I went, no. And so since then, you know, I, you know, it was this good moment to shake things up. And so during the pandemic, um, they were looking for some new board members and I was excited to jump on board. You know, they were planning a virtual festival and I have a good background in streaming and things. Um, we're even, we're still broadcasting this festival um, for live streaming if people can't be there in person. Okay, that's good to know. Um, and so I just, I jumped on board and it has been a great pleasure.
Yeah. Well, and you said it's a, it, it, we want to promote women, but it's also your organization, really anyone who's underrepresented. It. So d diversity, um, whether it be transgender, gender fluid, the LGBTQ community. So I guess it's true when we're in school, we learn about like Bach and Mozart and we, we don't hear about female composers, Absolutely. but I'm sure That's there right. are wonderful female <laughs> composers in history as well. That's right. The evening performance on Saturday is a trio. They happen to be all women and they're playing music all by women uh, and some of the pieces are um, they were all judged by a panel of composers and the winners are what they're going to perform including one piece which is commissioned specifically for this performance so it's going to be a world premiere of a work by a woman composer who hails from Cyprus and is now a professor at Knox College, Knox College, Knox College in Illinois. Okay. Well, that's terrific. We can't thank you enough for being on the show. Thank Give you. us the information again before we go. So um, everything is on our website, womencomposersfestivalhartford.com. Well, that's quite a website. Yes. Um, <laughs> and but it our, makes sense. Yeah. It's right there on the screen. Uh, yeah. Women Composers Festival Hartford. Hartford. Com, the 17th yeah. and the 18th. Yes. yes. Right terrific. at Trinity College. Well, you must be very proud of this. I am. Yeah, that's great. It's and you must be very proud as well. And yeah. We're proud of the both of you. Thanks so much Thank for being this so Thank, Thank you. It's great. Nice to see you. Yeah, wonderful thing.